hello guys welcome back to my channel so the last update about unfortunate love lakshmi confessed her love feelings to rishi and they have their first hug together then rishi apologized to lakshmi for shouting at her earlier because of malishka's anger anyways let's continue from there in the morning lakshmi moves the curtains from the window and the sunlight falls on rishi's face she keeps her hand on his forehead so that his sleep do not get disturbed a song plays in the background rishi opens his eyes and looks at lakshmi Rishi wakes up and sees Lakshmi blocking the sunlight from his face with her hand. He asks her, what are you doing? Lakshmi says you were sleeping and the sunlight was coming in, so I was blocking it. She asks Rishi to sleep. Rishi asks, will you stay like this the whole time? Lakshmi says yes. Rishi looks at her. Rishi tells Lakshmi that now I am awake. Lakshmi asks if she should get him coffee. Rishi checks his phone and says he has so many meetings and he would have to go to the office. He wishes Lakshmi Happy New Year and he goes to shower. Lakshmi smiles looking at her hand. Lakshmi remembers that Malishka was also out yesterday during the valley and she thinks to call her and ask how she is now. Malishka's mother brings milkshake for Malishka and she asks if she was able to sleep. Malishka's phone rings. She gets excited thinking that it is Rishi but it is Viraj and Malishka gets angry again. Hearing Malishka's voice, Viraj asks if she is still angry. Malishka says, I'm fine and thanks for calling. She hung up the call. Vera says, what did I do that Malishka is behaving like this with me? Typical Malishka. He calls her again. Lakshmi is also trying to call, but Malishka's line is busy. Viraj asks Malishka if he did anything wrong and he tells her that she danced very well yesterday. He asks if she knows any event company because he needs to organize an event for his grandpa. Malishka goes to her contact list to send event company's number and she sees Rishi's name. Malishka thinks that Rishi did not call her last night so she would have to block him now and she blocked Rishi's number from her phone. Kiran asks Malishka that why did you block Rishi? Malishka says because Rishi has blocked me from his life. In the past, Rishi couldn't resist without calling me after our fight and he would have come running to me. Kiran asks Malishka that what will you get by blocking Rishi? Malishka says I will get peace. I will think that I was the one that blocked him and not that he blocked me and now there is no one to take care of me and she cried. Malishka's mother says that Rishi is there and he is busy taking care of Lakshmi. I have seen that Rishi is very different with Lakshmi. How can I tell you that Rishi is changing? In fact, he has changed. I can see it clearly. Rishi comes out of the shower and he throws his towel on the bed. Lakshmi takes the towel and she remembers that Rishi promised her that he would not put his wet towel on the bed again. But then, Lakshmi decided not to say anything. Lakshmi tells Rishi that Nilam has called him for breakfast. Rishi is in a rush. He sees Malishka's bangle while checking his files and he calls her, but the call was not connecting. He turns and he bumps into Lakshmi who is taking out his clothes. He takes the cloth from her hand and he asks, can't you rest? Lakshmi says, but I am fine. Rishi holds Lakshmi's hand and she screams. Rishi says, can you see? You are not fine. Other people in the house will do the housework, so you don't have to stress yourself. He gives Lakshmi ointment and tells her to apply it because he is in a hurry and he asks her to rest. Nilam brings breakfast for Rishi in the room. Rishi says, I am in a hurry and I will eat something at the office. Nilam refused to let him go until he takes a bite and Rishi takes a bite. Nilam reminds Rishi about a wedding that they have to go tomorrow. Lakshmi smiles looking at Rishi, recalling how Rishi took care of her. Rishi looks at Lakshmi and Lakshmi goes inside the room. Shalu comes to meet Lakshmi. Shalu and Ayush bump into each other. Shalu saves Ayush from falling. She asks him to say thank you. Ayush says why? I wouldn't have fallen if you did not hold me. Shalu tries to release Ayush so that he can fall and Ayush screams and says thank you. Shalu says you could have said thank you before. Ayush says I did it purposely and he asks her why she always keeps bumping into him and they continue fighting. Ayush shows Shalu how funny her work is. Shalu says that it is Nea who works like that. Ayush says that he did not realize that he has started noticing Nea so much. He asks if Nea is at home right now. Shalu asks why he is asking. Ayush says just like that. Shalu says tell me why. Ayush asks why do you ask me so many questions? Who am I to you? And Shalu looks on. Ayush tells Shalu to breathe because he just likes dialogue from a movie. So he used one dialogue on her. He tells her not to take him seriously. 
Shalu leaves. Devika comes to Ayush and asks what is going on. Ayush ignores Devika's questions and leaves. Shalu smiles and says crazy to Ayush. Shalu comes to Lakshmi and asks how are you? Lakshmi says I'm fine. Shalu helps Lakshmi with the ointment. Lakshmi looks at Rishi's picture and smiles. Shalu asks what happened. Lakshmi says in childhood, whenever I get hot, then he used to come to me first and he will ask how I felt and father also used to take care of me. Shalu says sorry to Lakshmi because she did not come to her when she had a fire accident. She says I was going to come but Lakshmi interrupts and says Rishi was there with me. Rishi took care of me. He was so late for office and he did not have time to eat breakfast but still he remembered about the ointment. In fact, he said that if he had time, then he would have applied the ointment on me by himself. Lakshmi tells Shalu that Rishi cares so much about me. Shalu says you are so nice and that is why. Lakshmi says I am not nice. Rishi does so much for me, but I doubted on him that he has an affair. Lakshmi praises Rishi and says that Rishi can never have an affair because only me is in his life. On the other side, Rishi reaches Malishka's house. Malishka gets angry seeing Rishi. Rishi says, I love you, Malishka. Devika continues teasing Ayush and asks why he was flirting with Shalu. Ayush tells Devika not to say stuff like this and he leaves. Sonia hears Devika and she comes to Devika and scold her for joining Ayush's name with Shalu. Devika says, I was just joking. Sonia says, this is how it started. She tells Devika not to force her to remember that she is not her real sister. She says, Devika might have feelings for middle class people, but she or her family doesn't. Devika gets hurt and she cries. Malishka ignores Rishi. Rishi grabs Malishka's hand and asks if she blocked him. Malishka says yes. Rishi asks Malishka to unblock him. Malishka asks why. Rishi says so that I can call you. Malishka says right. Yesterday and this morning, you called me so many times. You were missing me so much that you came to meet me here. Rishi asks Malishka that why are you being so sarcastic? Malishka tells Rishi to ask himself and says you have blocked me from your mind and from your life so I decided to block you as well. I am not going to unblock you. Rishi says you could have called me too. Malishka asks did I ever call you after any of our fight? No right? So why would I call you this time? Rishi tells Malishka that but you came to our house after our fight. Malishka says yes but it was because of Viraj. Rishi says lie. You wanted to see me and that is why you came and you pretend that you brought Viraj and Diwali was just an excuse for you. Malishka tells Rishi that yes, you know that I love you so much but still you called Lakshmi your wife in front of me and you care for Lakshmi instead of me. Rishi smiles and says so much jealousy. That is why you are angry, right? Rishi asks Malishka to understand him and give him some space and it would make everything alright at the end. Malishka tells Rishi that you want me to give you some space so that Lakshmi can enter that space and I can go away, right? In fact, that is what is happening. Rishi says it is not like that. Only Malishka is in his heart. Rishi tells Malishka that if he is in her house and talking to her, then is it Lakshmi that is behind that? He asks her to trust him. Malishka says I am going to Viraj. Rishi looks on. Malishka tells Rishi that yes, I am going to Viraj. He need help with his event and Malishka leaves. Then Rishi follows her. Lakshmi asks Shalu if everything is fine at home. Shalu says if you are happy, then we all are happy. Shalu says sorry to Lakshmi for putting wrong stuff in her mind about Rishi and telling her that Rishi is cheating on her. Lakshmi says it is my mistake. I should have known Rishi well, but I doubted him. Shalu tells Lakshmi to do something so that they both get forgiveness. Lakshmi asks like what? Shalu says you doubted Rishi's love, so now give him extra love. Lakshmi goes to drop Shalu outside. An elderly lady comes there and begs Lakshmi for food. The lady says that her husband is sick and he has not eaten anything. Lakshmi tells the lady not to cry and she goes to get food. Rishi takes Malishka's car key and throws it away. Malishka says, how dare you? Rishi says, I learned this from you. You have done this with me many times and I never said anything to you. I want to talk to you, but you don't let me talk. I want to clear all the accusations made by you. Rishi tells Malishka that you said that I love Lakshmi, but if I was loving Lakshmi, then I wouldn't have been here today. Malishka tries to interrupt, but Rishi is very furious. Rishi tells Malishka to look at him. 
He asks, how can you think that I can change when I am still the same as before? Rishi asks Malishka that what is wrong if I care for Lakshmi when she also cares about me. Rishi tells Malishka that Lakshmi and me are just friends, but you are my love. He says, since when have you become so stone-hearted? Someone risk her life for me and should I tell her to go to hell? No, I cannot say that. I will never be like that. Rishi tells Malishka that it is you who need to understand that caring and loving is different. I care for Lakshmi because she is very nice and truthful, but my heart only beats for you, but you don't understand. Rishi tells Malishka that I just feel different with you. I feel crazy and violent whenever I am with you, and I can take anyone's life, even my own life, but I feel opposite whenever I am with Lakshmi. Malishka says enough. I don't want to know what you feel when you are with Lakshmi. Malishka tells Rishi that give me the car key and let me go. Rishi goes to get the keys and he gives it to Malishka. Lakshmi gives a bunch of food and some money to the old lady. Karishma sees that. The old lady blesses Lakshmi to have a happy married life. She says there are very few people like you. The God must have written your destiny by himself. Lakshmi thinks that her destiny is definitely special because everything was over for her. But she got everything back after Rishi came into her life. Rishi asks Malishka why she is still standing there. He put the keys in her hand and tells her to go to Viraj. Malishka looks on. Rishi tells Malishka that I was trying to explain all this to you because I love you. But it seems like you have decided not to listen or trust me. I am tired of all this. You blocked me, right? Even I will block you. Rishi blocked Malishka's number on his phone and says if I love Lakshmi, then I wouldn't have even looked at you. Rishi tells Malishka that I came here to talk to you only because I really love you, but it seems like you don't understand it. You can do whatever you want. Let's take a break. Rishi sits in the car and he leaves from there. Malishka is shocked and she cried. Okay guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, share it, and I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye guys.